Let's say we're given the same functions f of x equals x squared minus x and g of x equals x minus 3, like we saw in the previous example. Now, one thing I want you to pay attention to is that this question is asking us to find g composed of f of x. The previous example was f composed of g of x. These are not the same thing. Even though the principle is the same, the execution is completely different. So with g composed of f of x, we're taking f of x and plugging it into g of x. So that means in this case, that function x squared minus x has to get plugged into this x by itself. And this question is actually quite short. Instead of x, we replace it with x squared minus x. Remember to put the function in parentheses, minus the 3. And at this stage, uh, there's no need for the parentheses because there's nothing outside of them. So we really just get x squared minus x minus 3, and the question's over. With these problems, they're, they tend to be on the easier side, but it's more important to know which function is getting plugged into what.